Welcome to the study of antiquity and the Middle Ages. I'm D.W. Draffing. It is with tremendous sadness that I share this news. Our founder, host, and inspiration to all, Nick Barksdale, died on June 2nd after a long battle with endocarditis. Nick was 30 years old, an assistant manager at a Walmart outside Oklahoma City. Between that job, this channel, and being a husband and father for his young family, he didn't have time for much else. In the last year anticipating his second daughter, he and his wife Morgan bought a new house, and he spent long hours building a room that was meant to be his new studio. From there, he was going to expand his history channel, increasing the number of interviews and contributors and increasing content all around. He was going to finally get his other channels off the ground, what I called his dark and creepy passions for serial killers and a whole channel aimed at an academic analysis of the Third Reich. The dream was that Nick would be able to support his family with his productions. And it really felt like we were getting close. Our ambitions were just coming into reach when he fell ill last year. We've been offline for most of last year as Nick fought again and again to get out of intensive care units. We'd be able to get one or two episodes out before the infections would take him again. At one point when he was out, he told me he was going to invest in CNC machines and 3D printers and build a whole line of merchandise. His brain loved tangible objects like the antique history volumes he collected, maybe even more than his digital creations. We had maybe a hundred episodes we still planned to do. He was a fantastic man, funny and generous and warm-hearted. In all my years in the entertainment industry, I've never had a better producer. He had an intuitive sense of what people wanted to see and how this channel should grow. I was never able to share with him the story of the first trip I took on behalf of Sama. The biggest issue we have always had making these videos is getting high quality public domain footage of extremely rare subjects. So I figured I'd get the footage myself. Like many of you, lockdown drove me crazy. In the spring of 2021, there was a brief period where it looked like we might be able to safely travel in the months ahead, and airfare was outrageously cheap. So I bought myself a $400 round-trip ticket on Lufthansa to Bulgaria at the end of September. I told Nick I was going to take three weeks to study the Black Sea, traveling from its coast down to the Straits of Bosporus with a week in the Carpathian Mountains of Georgia, but by the time September rolled around, COVID was back in full force and the CDC directives were quite clear about Bulgaria, Turkey, and Georgia. So I pivoted at the last second on the advice of my cousin in Milano, Italy. My original flight had me landing in Munich before heading on to Sofia. Instead, I changed my flight to end in Germany and I got a rental car to drive across the Alps before focusing on Sardinia and their initial neuralgic civilization. That's all Nick ever heard. He was already in the hospital, insisting that my trip just be one of pleasure. That I shouldn't worry about taking videos for the channel. He never knew that when I landed I was so excited to be traveling again that I drank an entire bottle of wine for dinner and went for a midnight hike in the foothills of the Alps. He never knew that I fell off a cliff and tumbled in the dark and nearly broke my leg and lost my phone. I spent half an hour in the dark looking for it. I returned the next day at dawn to search for three more hours, but I never found it. And it wasn't just my communication device, it was the camera I was going to shoot all my videos with. I'm pretty sure Nick would have been laughing at my reckless idiocy at this point. I had to leave the tiny little town in Germany that morning with no phone, which of course was also my navigation device. My leg was swollen and black, and all I knew was I had to get to my cousin. But the rental car had no GPS, and the little towns had no burner phones for sale, and even the gas stations no longer carried paper maps. 
So I spent two days wandering the valleys of the Alps, pushed east when I wanted to go west, and I finally drove the length of Austria to get through the Brenner Pass like a Roman army returning in triumph. I reached Milano after three days. I couldn't walk. My cousin said, there you are. We've been so worried about you. Your dad's been trying to reach you for three days. Your mom had a stroke. My mother has since fully recovered. But Nick never knew that. He never knew any of it. I wanted to wait until he could hear the full story before I shared it, but he was never in a place after that where I could. Everyone urged me to carry on boarding a ferry for Sardinia. I spent a week there and swam in its warm waters. But I called it off early. Nick was still in the hospital. My mom was still in the hospital. My leg wasn't getting any better. Now, nine months later, Nick is gone. My leg still hurts. And I never found the time to tell you about my stupid trip, partner. So here it is, one of the worst vacations of my entire life. I didn't even get good footage. Like so many things during this pandemic, it was a stressful, pointless mess. Now what will I do? In the words of the great Irish playwright Samuel Beckett, I can't go on. I'll go on. We feel too heavy to move, and yet time rolls on regardless. Nick leaves behind a big loving family in Oklahoma, friends around the world, and Morgan and his two young daughters live in Lila. What will become of this channel is still being decided. We thank you for all the interest and support so many of you have shown during this time. This community is a true blessing. Remember Nick Barksdale and do not forget his family. Please take time to follow the link to the GoFundMe below. Thank you.